Hi everyone, this is Tech Byte and Solutions, and thank you for being here. Stay tuned for a bite of the mobile and tech world. Our first focus is somewhat to do with M-Pesa, which needs no introduction. A globally renowned and award-winning mobile money transfer system started in Kenya. New to their family, for those who aren't aware, is M-Ledger, an Android-based application that was first brought to us by DDS, Dynamic Data Systems, that transforms your mobile into a financial journal from your M-Pesa transactions stored on your SMSs and cloud, which was later to be reborn as part of Safaricom in an acquisition that happened less than a year ago. At around the same time, Safaricom finally brought their servers from Germany to Kenya. If you are on Android and have no idea what I'm talking about, simply click the link below and download it. Or alternatively, you could go to your Google Play Store and search M-Ledger. What's even more fascinating is the additional personalized statistics at your disposal. Our second focus is BlackBerry. Yes, you heard me right. The old and forgotten BlackBerry may be in the process of bringing back its glory days, if only you could give it a try. BlackBerry, which seemed to have been a hit to a niche market until the late 2012, will definitely come back stronger. Although BlackBerry have tried to revamp themselves in several ways with several devices and now the very limited BlackBerry 10 operating system, Many felt it was slowly swaying away from what it felt like to own one. With many saying it was totally outdated. Yes, in some sense, BlackBerry may have been like a rocking chair, keeping us busy and taking us nowhere. But if an up-to-date BlackBerry is what it would take to give it a try or bring back its diehard users, then sit tight. What all began as speculation earlier this year at the Mobile World Conference after they showed a sneak peek of what seemed to look like a large screen BlackBerry with a slider keyboard reminding old users of the Torch, Carve and the Bold series and that beautiful to type on quality keyboard is almost now confirmed that they are ready to buy back into the market with a 5.4 inch screen almost resembling that of the Galaxy S6 Edge screen and a slider keyboard to die for which we believe will be called the BlackBerry Venice. Through its partnership with Google, it comes packed with an Android operating system, which at launch may come with the most current Android Lollipop or the soon-to-be-released version Marshmallow. Other than that, it will come boosted with an 8-megapixel rear camera, as well as a 5-megapixel front-facing camera, Quad HD display, 3GB of RAM, 1.8GHz hexa-core Snapdragon 808 processor, to power their much anticipated Android Beast, but more importantly, the added features making communication seamless and the security functionalities associated with BlackBerry devices. Is it too little too late? I say no. It is exactly what BlackBerry needed to compete with the likes of Samsung and the other fruit company. While some critics say, what is a BlackBerry without a BlackBerry operating system, I think BlackBerry was the BlackBerry keyboard with the trackball, but with what looks said to be BlackBerry's latest flagship, the BlackBerry Venice, with a revamped slider keyboard and an innovative gesture functionality similar to what's on the BlackBerry Passport, while running a stock Android operating system cut for BlackBerry, 
with some key features and applications retained from their previous operating systems, that's what defines a modern BlackBerry. It would be very interesting to see if they include dual boot or finally introduce multi-user functionality to cater to a wider clientele. They will ultimately need to market and redefine what a modern BlackBerry should translate to. I'm excited and I think everyone else should be too by finally kicking the BlackBerry isn't good enough mentality to the side and I can't wait to get my hands on one. We shall have more coming your way. Remember, if you liked this and enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you and see you again soon.